AI art, in my opinion, is beautiful and is something that I genuinely support if we are talking about artificial intelligence. Nowadays, there have been many cons to it. Despite making our lives seem eased because of AI, it can most likely be a devastating act. But aside from failure, today I wanted to introduce you to a more peaceful tool that I've recently come across and what I believe can create your imaginary images the closest to reality so far. Welcome to the journey. As you've heard, we're talking about AI-generated art, and that's exactly what Midjourney is all about. Nowadays, these text-to-image generators are getting more common and are seen more in app stores for mobiles as well, not only PC. You might have seen something like this, which is NVIDIA Gauguin, but not as extensive. So anyway, AI-generated art, according to Google, is created via a troll of professional artwork and photographs that already exist on the internet. A sophisticated algorithm then rearranges this big data to create a multitude of new pieces of art that are related to the inputted text prompts. So, to put it more simply, you're inputting text, AI takes that text and searches for matching images on the internet that already exists, and makes something that has not existed upon creation. Allow me to demonstrate. Let's say you wish to have a steampunk-styled owl, highly detailed in 4K. Now that's gorgeous. Before I show you some more mind-blowing examples, let's actually cover up on how to prompt your very own creations. Head over to midjourney.com in your browser and hit connect with Discord. The browser will detect any Discord account that you use currently and prompt you into joining the server. Hit authorize and voila. Next up, go to the text channels of newcomers rooms. It won't really matter which one you pick. When you've entered one of the channels, type slash imagine. Click the option that it gives and then this prompt will appear next to it. Now you're set to write what you desire, so pause the video and give it a try. Now you've most likely played around with it, so I'll give some additional tips on how to get more defined and concentrated images with text prompts style. Many people that I have noticed will go for specific keywords such as 8K, highly detailed, realistic graphics, etc. Though there are some smaller nuances that you can use to create your very own style, that would be keywords that are not used as often. You can use different resolutions, aspect ratios, different render styles. There are a lot on the internet, just search for one. Various lighting effects. You can also take an artist style and implement it into your prompt to create different blendings with art and objects. For example, the following is not my footage. The Taj Mahal in the style of Van Gogh's Starry Night painting. Colors. You can have bright, dark, colorful, psychedelic on specific range of color for example in all shades of green and i believe if you experiment enough eventually you can create your very own style that you can implement in further prompt so since ai takes everything from the internet mainly we can also use artists that are less known i've researched a couple of youtube videos and i've noticed that they mentioned checking out this website on screen having various artists in a small showcase of their style and with this you can pick out a style that seems pleasing to the eye for yourself and implement it to the prompt with the artist's name. I'll leave the website in the description so you can check it out for yourself. Now, of course, a powerful tool under our fingertips will not be free in any way. And that's why Midjourney has a subscription options. You can have the basic, standard, and if you're really pushing P, the corporate membership, which is 600 bucks. I haven't gotten myself any of these subscriptions because all these times I've switched between Discord accounts to use it because having no subscription has its major flaw. You can only generate a total of 25 images. No! 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 Now, yeah, I got a bit disappointed when I first noticed, but it's safe to say that if you're not someone who wants to get serious about AI art and just mess around from time to time, I suggest just stick into the Discord account switching method. It's just a phenomenon that I indulge in from time to time to be amazed at what this powerful tool of technology can do. Like, imagine trying to prompt an image while being high. That would certainly be interesting. Anyways, I hope you found this video useful, as recently people have been talking about it, and that's why I've decided to share my thoughts on it too. I have doubts that I'll make more mid-journey or AI-based videos in the future. But who knows? It might be the new meta. Only time will tell. Peace out. Mwah.